Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in the Selenium tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can create a Selenium script specifically to deploy it to AWS Lambda. So yeah, with that said, let's get into the video. So first of all, let me give you a brief of, of what we will be doing and why we will be doing that. So first of all, we will create a basic script as you see right here, this is the script. And actually let me make a change here. So what I like to do is do that, basically get the title of the URL we visit and send that. Okay, perfect. So let's see what's, hap what's happening here. So we use Selenium and then we are defining a function which we will run from AWS Lambda and then we create some options. So first of all, we are passing the headless Chromium, which I'll show you in a bit how we download and how we deploy that to AWS Lambda. And then we pass some arguments. So headless, first of all, and then some, some arguments specifically to be able to deploy it in production. Finally, we are creating a web driver with Chrome and we use the Chrome driver here. Again, I'll show you how we can download that and deploy it in AWS Lambda. And finally, we are visiting Google. We are getting the title of that web page. We close the browser and then we send that response. And yeah, that's basically it. Then when we are deploying our script, before we do that, we will create two layers. The first layer is Selenium. And basically in this layer, if we search it, so AWS Lambda layers, As you see right here, Lambda layers provide a convenient way to package libraries and other dependencies that you can use with your Lambda functions. So any dependencies we have or packages, we want to deploy them separately from our function. So, so basically separately from our code and also the Chrome driver and then connect them together. So this is what we are doing here. So if you are using other packages separate from Selenium, you will, you will see the process of how we do it for Selenium and you will basically do the same thing for the other packages as well. And you don't have to deploy each package separately. You can do them all together and I'll show you how you can do that as well. Also something I want to mention is that we are using specifically Python 3.7 and for Selenium, we are using version 3.8. We specifically do these versions because that's what is working with AWS Lambda at this moment. But either way, with those versions, you are pretty much covered but because you can do pretty much everything. And yeah, let's continue. So once we deploy those layers, then we create a function and then we deploy our code, this one right here. In our function okay so let's see how we'll do that so first of all let's create a folder so a new folder let's name it selenium lambda actually lambda selenium there we go and let's open this folder in our terminal okay so the first thing we will do is actually let's open it on our visual studio code By the way, I'll have the code and the packages pre-installed in my GitHub URL. So if you don't want to follow the steps here, you can download that code. But if you have a pre-existing code, it's better you understand what I'm doing. Either way, actually, it's better if you watch the video. But to save you the time, you can download the code from GitHub. Okay, so let's open terminal. And what we will be doing is 
we will use pip 3.7 so make sure you download python 3.7.0 and then we will do pip 3.7 install then we want to install selenium equals to and then 3.8.0 and we want to install selenium specifically to a folder called python lib python 3.7 site packages and that's it now we do that because we are trying to simulate the architecture or basically the file structure of the original python so basically when python wants to use selenium locally it will visit this path and then it will visit selenium so that's what we are trying to do simulate basically that path now if you have any other packages you want to install just add them here so for example if you want to use numpy just add it here add your version or leave it as it is and install them as well but for this example we will only use selenium so there we go um, by the way the commands will be down in the description um yes i meant to do double there we go so yeah the commands will be down in the description so make sure you check them out so as you see there it is and it also installed some other things we need so what we will do now is let's go on our folder and we will zip this folder so we will compress it and as you see we get a zip so let's go back in our lambda let's go on layers and to go there you can search right here lambda visit lambda and then go to the layers so let's create a new layer now as you saw i have already a layer named selenium so i'll do selenium it's the youtube and then here i'll upload my zip folder by the way if you have too many packages and your files are larger than 10 megabytes you might as well use amazon s3 but either way i think it will work it will just be slower so yeah let's do that okay so we will select python.zip and open it then for the architectures we will use x86 and then runtimes python 3.7 and then we will create the first layer now while this is being created let's go back and the next thing we need to do is first of all download chrome driver again this command will be down in the description so make sure you check it out and the next thing is to download headless chromium so let's copy this command as well now while this is being downloaded let's go on my previous example and let's copy the code there we go and let's create that file so main.py and there it is now if you have multiple files and just make sure all your files end up in this main file and then the function that you want to run i'll show you in a bit how we can define that so we have to specifically define on our function to run main so the file main and then run main the function and yeah we don't have to do anything here i already explained what everything does okay so again let's go on our finder on our folder and let's unzip chrome driver and headless because what we have to do now is to zip those two together so let's remove those 
and let's zip them together. Perfect. So let's rename it to Chrome Driver. This is not necessary, just to make it easier to understand. And then let's go back on Amazon and let's create a new layer. Let's name it Chrome Driver dot dash YouTube. And let's upload the Chrome Driver here. And again, the same for this one as well. We will select for the architectures x86 and for run times Python 3.7. And we will click create. Now this takes several minutes, so don't worry if it takes too much, just leave it running and it will let you know when it's created. While this is happening, what we can do is go back on Lambda. Let's go on our functions and let's create a new function. So let's name it Selenium Tutorial. For runtime, we will use Python 3.7. And for architectures, again, x86. And let's create the function. Of course, make sure you use Scratch, so author from Scratch. Okay, so now that we created our function, First things we need to do is go on configuration. Then we need to go on general configuration, click edit, and then we need to increase our memory. Now try to at least go for 520 megabytes, but for this tutorial I'll go with 1000 just to make sure everything runs correctly. And I'll also increase my timeout to one minute. Um, so when you run your application, if you run to any issues, just try to increase the memory first and timeout and see if that fixes the issue. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments or join our Discord server, which I'll have in the description, and we can help you out with your issues. So yeah, let's click save. Now next, we need to go back on code, scroll down and click edit on runtime settings. And on handler, we have to specify our file name, which is main, and then the function we need to run, which is also main. So main.main. .main. So if you have different functions or different file names, this is how you do it. So file name dot function. And then click save. So now the next thing we need to do is add those layers. So let's click add a layer custom layers and then we will choose selenium youtube and the latest version click add and then finally we will add another layer which I'll, which will be the chrome driver and again we click the latest version and click add by the way sorry if my voice sounds kind of muffled And yeah, let's continue. So now I think this is all we have to do. So let's click test. And let's test our application. And we do get an error. So it says unable to import. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so we forgot the most basic thing, and which is to upload our file. So let's click upload from and then the .zip file. Now, if for some reason your file is too big, maybe above 50 megabytes, use Amazon S3. But yeah, let's go with that for, for now. So actually, first of all, let's go back. Let's zip our file. And now if you have multiple files, just select them all and then zip them together. But since we only have main.py, we will zip that. So let's click compress main.py and then let's go back and click upload and then save and there we go it's uploaded very quickly because it's a small app okay so let's go back on test and then let's click test again 
and within a few seconds as you see right here we got execution result succeeded and on our body we got google which is correct so yeah this is how you can deploy selenium in aws lambda again the code will be down in the description so make sure you check it out so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button as it will really help the YouTube algorithm a lot to promote this video to other developers that are struggling to deploy Selenium in AWS Lambda. And also subscribe because I do many videos around Selenium, web scrapping in general, and then web development. So you most likely want to see them as well. And finally, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Yeah, with that said, see you next video.